Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to solve uh, a problem that I've experienced with the Epic Games um, 500 free game animation sample project file. So I'm not going to go too much into what this is because, you know, you probably already know about this. That's why you're watching my video because you've run into probably the same issues that I did or you're watching this to learn how to do it. And um, yeah, you'll thank me after this video because, you know, by watching this video, you're going to do it the right way instead of banging your head wondering why it's not working like I did for many hours. All right, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this project. And I, I would just note that Epic Games documentation that's out currently is has a mistake in it. And it's also a little bit um, incomplete. And that's the reason why I couldn't figure this out for many hours. So I'm going to kind of just start from the beginning, um, just in case, you know, some people might just be watching this without having to try it on their own already. Um, so you're going to first import your character, right? So make a folder, right click, import to game character, get your FBX in here. Um, for me, I'm using a character creator for character, which I auto imported using their um, auto setup. I'm not going to go into that because that's a whole separate thing. But, you know, get your character in here and you'll have a skeletal mesh, a uh, physics asset, and a skeleton. Okay. And the first thing you're going to do is we want to create these assets, these two assets here, okay, that you see. Um, these are the retargeting assets that you'll need. So you're going to go, easiest way to do this is to go into UEFM Mannequin Animations. Click on Animation Sequence so that you show all the animations. Right click on any of them and go to Retarget Animations. And then here you're going to select your Skeletal Mesh. Uh, mine is called CC4. And you're going to go, instead of Animations, we're going to go Export Retarget Assets. Hit that and then put it into your folder. Export. I'm not going to do that because I, already, I basically just did that already. Um, but that's how you get your retargeted assets. That's the easiest way. If you have a very customized character that's not, you know, an epic um, skeleton or CC4 or Mixamo, then you're gonna have to build your IK rig manually, and you know you'll have to look at Epic's documentation on that to know how to do that. It does take a little time. I'm not gonna go into it, but um, the important thing is you want to end up with the the two assets, the IK rig and your retargeting IK retargeter. Okay, within the IK uh, retargeter, this is what it looks like. It's retargeting to the, the one that was just created my, for my character. And yeah, just make sure this is all correct because this is the most important thing. And now once that's all created, um, and make sure you rename it because when they auto create this, it's called like generated something. Um, name this properly and you're gonna see why in a second here. Once you have that done, you're gonna go into the blueprints folder and there's another folder called retargeted characters. Open that folder up. There's a uh, animation blueprint called generic retarget. Double click on that. And here you can see they already kind of tried to uh, tell you what's going on. Um, for somebody who's not a game developer, it, it wasn't that clear. But anyways, I'm gonna go into the variable section right here. There's a thing called IK retargeter map. Click on that. And right here, you're gonna click on this little button to add an array element, which then you're gonna choose that retargeter that you just created earlier, right? And then you're gonna name it exactly as what it's called, you know, underscore, whatever. Um, and make sure you don't make any spelling mistakes here because we're gonna grab this um, later. So I'm gonna delete this one that I made because I, I already have my created right here. All right, make sure you compile. And you know what? Let me just copy this name right now. Okay, so I have it. Okay, so now the next step is to go go back into the blueprints folder, and 
and this is where my method is going to stray a little bit from the documentation if you're looking at that because I don't know why but following the documentation I couldn't get um, my blueprint to work so and this is actually an easier way what you're gonna do is go into your retargeted characters folder again grab any of these um, blueprints these are just child blueprints that were created from this sandbox character okay so all, all this was done was basically if you right click here you can create a child blueprint class but don't do this all right because that's what the documentation tells you but it's not going to work as well i'm going to basically just choose one of these characters for me i took the twin blast character and i just duplicated it okay so you're going to duplicate that um double click into it and then here you're gonna go to your the mesh character mesh but below it there's like a little child skeletal mesh and you can rename this back to your um, the name of your character if you want it doesn't really matter um, but here see the um, animation mode this is what's important like this is already set up and that's why I like duplicating it because in the documentation they tell you to use the sandbox character which is incorrect you should be using the ABP generic retarget. And that's what kind of screwed me over for at least a couple hours. Um, anyways, so use that generic. And then here in the skeletal mesh, you're just going to swap it out for your skeletal mesh, right? And it's not going to update because it's probably a bug. So I wouldn't worry about this too much, but just make sure you have your skeletal mesh selected here. Okay, save that. And another thing is if you type tag under details here, so we're gonna have to replace this. This is a component tag. You're gonna replace it. So I already copied it earlier, right? So I'm just gonna control paste so that I have this. So it's the correct tag. Okay. And just in case you know you guys don't understand what I just did. It's basically what I grabbed from generic under IK retargeter map. Remember this part? Okay, so with that um, character created, I can go back and twin blast one. Okay, I'm gonna rename it. And I'll just call this, cause I already did this earlier. I'm just gonna call it real demo. Okay, so we know it's, it's this one. So she's just a child blueprint of the UEFN mannequin, right? Now we're almost done, we're almost done. Let's go over here. There is a thing called widgets, this little widget folder. And then we're gonna go into the game animation widget. And then here, you're just gonna grab this one, or it doesn't matter, any one of these, and duplicate it. Okay? And then you're just gonna swap the object here out for the one that you just created. So for us, is the real demo. Okay, compile, save. And that should be it. Let's um, check it out. Okay, so it's in my other window, but it's right here. And we have this one. Yay, it's working, it's working. All right, leave a comment if this uh, helped you out, because I sure as hell wish somebody had made this for me. It would have saved me a couple hours of trying to figure this out, but this is so cool. Now I have my game character, and this is created for, for a game that I'm developing. And this is a scan of my actor's face, um, who's going to be, you know, playing her, this character. And it's amazing. 